Apologize for the technical delay. Okay, my apologies for the delay on the stream. Uh, had some technical issues that caused the stream to not actually go live, despite telling me that it was going live. Uh, so yikes, that was a problem. But we are good to go. We should be fixed. Everything should be set. We're live on Icebox with Spot Up versus Never Done. Never Done is starting on the defensive side. They got the 2-0 lead. First blood went to Spot uh, to Never Done. First blood, uh, first round to Never Done. But now they are doing the gamble. They're looking to maintain the guns from the second round to try to uh, win out the third. And that that's the case. It's going to be huge. The economy is going to be booming. It'll be perfectly healthy economically going into the fourth round and further. It's going to be a rotation on the B site. So for a quick recap, since we missed the first two rounds, it was a... Kind of like a stalemate in the mid lane, in the <laughs> mid lane, League Legends, in the mid, uh, control. Trill fell to never done, trying to rotate into mid. Everything got stalled out and eventually never done, eventually just won out a lot of gunfights around the mid area. Second round was a force uh, by never done, buying up because they won the first round. And then a save round from Spot Up. Spike planted. Spot Up pushed into the A site. And never done took the victory. The pace shots from Trill. Penny walking right into it. With just that singer trying to figure out how to time that perfectly. Found them behind the yellow container, but what can they really do with that information? Vanny getting a nice headshot as Effie going to go in the entry here. Rustin destroying Effie, but Vanny and Player One come right back. It's all down to this figment. He's not able to do a whole lot in a one versus three situation. Never done winning it. The round that they should have lost economically, but those singers are just so good. Great shots done by Vanny with that Guardian to open up the round as well, despite Penny, Penny falling. Now it's going to be a save round eco for Spot Up, who has not had the best of success so far. Or really any success. Fanny's seeing a nice and crispy 6 0. Get out of my way. Zelsus, the other, did not fall so far. Looks like on the eco round, Spot Up is looking to do a mid control once again. It's interesting enough, both teams went with the double sentinel setup. We actually didn't really have a whole lot of information on Never Done as a team playing competitively, officially, on Icebox before. So I didn't know exactly what they would wanting to bring to the table here as Penny gets a nice opening pick. Can Pecky though with the blazer? I'm not able to collect on a second foe. Player one shutting that right down mid lane. It's gonna be down to two members of Spot Up HIA. Hiya. As well as Figment. Figment has the bomb, but he needs to get it past this death trap. This slow field and Penny covering the opening with an op. Maybe three, two, one. There's Zeb. Last player alive. HIA gets found by the turret. The jig's up. Resurrection available, but that is certainly going to be saved for a future round. 30 seconds left. HIA's current goal is just to get. At least one exit frag to help hinder the economy of Never Done, but that won't be happening. All that will be happening is player one's gonna be upgrading to that sheriff as well. It's nice. Nice little upgrade. We had a double sentinel setup. Uh Kenpeki goes with Jet basically every game he ever plays, but he's yeah. good at it, so there's no real reason to stop. Don't the fixture's not broken. Um so Kenpeki is the one duelist. Just a pick of uh, for both teams. Penny's Time fantastic test. on the jet, jet. We actually witnessed that on this stream here yesterday. Penny dominating on the jet pick oh up against God. Hollywood's Hooligans. Player one getting caught out by that recon bolt. 
Fable just drops some utility and rotate right back. Yeah. We have Kompeki on that operator. Let's see what we can do with that. Light armor bot. Can't quite connect onto Penny. Grabs the leg shot. You will not but Penny getting something a little bit better. Round two for Kompeki. Do you go right back up? Go go right back up. Right, take two. Let's go. Bring it back. All right, challenging another angle this time. Trying to find that elusive penny. As this A take has been stalled significantly. But a couple of members have never done holding that rotation in mid. The rest of them is going to be finding that information out in just a moment. It's actually a rotation as well. As Kempeki actually wins against Penny. I had it for try to predict who was going to pick who first. Of course, it was Kempeki winning the change. Take two gets Penny. Penny was still weak. We get healed up by the jet, by the sage, but it was not going to be enough. So any shot would be a kill. Kempeki able to get out just in time. Trill finding an angle down low. Able to connect to two on Effie and Banny, but Zelsis, the last player alive. One versus one, up against an operator. Kempeki knows! Zelsus was unfortunately stuck behind the wall, behind a rock in a hard place. Be between a wall and a wall. Nowhere to go, easy operator shot lineup. Because of Peek's advantage in this game, Zelsus had to just try to predict when Kempeki would peek. And predicted wrong on the timing for the shots. Becky kind of just does a nice little swing and shoot. Classic. Recent results on Icebox. Uh, Spawn is actually pretty successful in Icebox. We've been undefeated on it within the past month. Those shock darts are brutal. Oh, Kempek, he wanted it. You can see he wanted that res kill. But it's a little bit too far behind the barricade. Gets it anyway. The re-peak from Vanity comes in and Kempek, he shuts it down yet again. There it goes. While we don't have a match history and know what the win rate is or anything like that for Never Done, uh, they have also been steamrolling, just stomping the competition for this tournament. A uh, spot up safe for the match against Team Serenity. As Penny gets a nice opening kill over the rest of We'll have to hold that for a second because the A take has been underway. Going for that zip line sound cue bait and then planting down low. Not letting Penny know exactly what's going on in that situation. But while that initiation was happening, Kempeki died off over on top of Tube. A little unlucky. This first people going back on the side to try to stop. The defuse. You can get a little bit of damage on two different players, but the defuse sticks. What a beautiful heads up play. Last player standing. At 5 HP, Figma saying, nah, Chief, I'm going to go ahead and save this Vandal here. So unfortunate. So the Hunter's Fury comes out, hits the first shot. Player was uh, Zelsus goes for the stick. The first shot hits Zelsus, chunks him. Jumps off the bomb for the second shot that had to be shot by Figment in case it was being stuck. Get out of my way. And then another stick was coming, and they just go for that. Stick because you only have one more shot for Hunter's Fury. Great knowledge of the game's possibilities. On the side of Never Done. Things like that showing how experienced these players are. Many of these players having experience in professional Counter Strike, so they understand the gunplay a little bit better. Very comfortable with that kind of stuff. But then also some of these players, professional Valor experience before joining this team. 
fairly new team, but that doesn't mean it's not an experienced team. The only thing that they need to do is really develop synergy as a team, but they seem to be doing that pretty effectively thus far. Never done. Meanwhile, Spot Up is a team that's been together for quite some time. Haven't had the best of success overall, but their results have been improving as of late in competitive showings. So this team's constantly improving, constantly working on what they can do to finally get to that next caliber of a team. That's a big task for both teams. Never done going against one of uh, a team that's been together for a long time. That's been competing in a lot of the tournaments. You should run. While Spot Up's going against a team that's on the uh, competitive level, skill wise, of Never Done. The individual talent on this team is just outstanding. Spike planted. Control has been acquired. On site from B here. Force him out away from behind it, yellow. It's a beautiful overall strike, even though it doesn't get a kill. Uh, feels bad to be player one there. Because that's very for the back. But the last player alive is going to be Rustin, who falls to player one. Despite taking some chip Thanks. damage from the teammate. We'll be able to finish off the fight. It's going to be a 7 to 1 on defense for Icebox. From my own personal ranked experience, Icebox does seem to be a more attacking friendly side map. Though competitive play, it's uh, certainly the newest map available, so still some things getting figured out. But it does seem like the double signal setup is the, the standard. I've seen that in a lot of teams lately. The, the st standard setup for a lot of other maps, um, certainly for Bind, Haven, and Ascent, is two duelists, Initiator, Standing Controller, ahead. and a Sentinel. Uh, split, some teams go with the double Sentinel setup, such as Spot Up does. Penny getting a nice opening kill onto Figment. Uh, that's going to be Bomb Drop that's outside of mid as well, so they're going to have to find a way of getting that picked up. It's like Trill will be able to do so. Cover going out. A complete access to A site as all the Killjoy utility is going off. So the fast rotation coming from the entirety of Never Done happening instantly. Uh, no charges. Trill being really quiet no about his approach out. doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to be honest because the team already made a lot of noise on site. What you want to do here is get the bomb planted quickly before the rotation finishes. You don't want the defending team to be able to have time to set up their retake options. Zelsa's getting a nice pick there. See a lot of enemies in hell. Dropping down, finding the shots, but Trill able to get the headshot on the penny. Nice little flick from Trill. Thanks. But will not be enough as the horde of Never Done flows off the catwalk. Eight to one scoreline. This is a stomp thus far. It's gonna be a quick 2-0 and out if things keep it going this way. Spob's gonna have to figure out exactly what they can do to fix this problem. But honestly, a lot of what's been happening is just picks. They go for individual uh, peaks around the locations, trying to get information. They go into a one versus one fight, and then everyone just gets the gun kill. They get the frag. Sivan is just looking up. Because reasons or doing a setup. Waiting for that recon bolt. But Vandy a little happy that that was shot a little short. So no shot will need to be done. And just sneaking around the owl drone. Has no idea. Figment as far as they know. This site is open. Penny getting a nice opening kill onto Kampeki. Winning out on that duel. I believe Kampeki bought up as well there. But Rustin answering right back to Ian down Penny. So no operator on the field right now. Unless one gets picked up. Your juicy is not or revived. This Kampeki now has an operator on the field. HIA doing a lot of supportive work right here. 
It's going to be another lockdown by player one. HIA going for that aggressive play, trying to take down player one and then following up with the lockdown to stop. Kempeki sticking around for a little bit too long. Rotation coming in for Russin. Try to give some support for the teammate. 30 seconds left. Who was detained. 30 seconds left. They're going to go for this A-side push, but because of that rotation, they saw that pick happening in mid. They think that it's going to be a beast play. But a beautiful rotation back. Spikes down. It means it's going to be an A-spike. They even, they even use the Owl Drone. Effie dropping the Owl Drone even onto B-side. thing. that's going to be their play. I mean, rotate all the way back to A-site. Fairly large map. So it takes a bit of time to rotate over. FE player one, players experience with each other. Standing ahead. So often you see these two players in a two-player retake situations. But they're not able to do enough this time. Figment playing beautiful shots. Nice composure. To be fair, player one was very weak, but nevertheless, Figment doing what he needs to do. And that's gonna be a second round win for Spot Up. Utilizing just one of their ultimates. They still have the Front of Shadows and Hunter's Fury. This time the Hunter's Fury though needs to be set up a little bit better. Going completely off site to use it. Isn't the best call. I know they were forced off by the lockdown last time, so tough situation to work with. But now they know that Neverdyne's aware enough to be able to bait out the Hunter's Fury to where it's ineffective. It means uh, they need to be more mindful of that as a possibility. Penny. Take flight. Trying to find this operator player up in the catwalk. Trying to find where the enemy operator is. Trying to find where the enemy players are. Finds HIA. Taking down that saved early is going to be a big deal. Huge economy. Huge value. Pinning up coming up big here. From the shadows. Quick rotation over B site. Fragment already got onto site here. Will we'll be able to get the plant. Just kidding. Just taking off because of the shots to the box. Because of the spams, the rotation is going to be in. Missing the shot on the recon bolt, having to dodge away. 30 seconds remaining could make a rotation over A site, but left. are they going to go for that? Do you think they'll have time? Kepeke rejoining the fight. They're going to have to get a pick here, but the rotation coming from Zelsis on that battle there. stage. I think they're making a call of just saving at this point. 12 seconds remaining. They do not have time to plant. Ten seconds left. It's going to come down to whether or not Zelsus can get these kills. They know at this point they're going to go for a save. Not peaking the cubby. Zelsus falling to a Trill, but it's still going to be a round victory. Four never done. Only last one exit frag. Going to the last round. Uh, honestly... That frag was more so just so that they can help themselves make sure they can fully buy into the last round. It's really what that was. They knew they wouldn't be able to full buy if one of them dies. They just want to try to stay alive. Full buy for the last round. Try to have some breathing room going into defense with that double sentinel setup. Revealing area. Deploying drones. All right, last round of the half. Spikes in hand for HIA, but Orbital Strike to enforce the team away. The spike struck on sight. Team's completely scattered. Kempeki falls from the top ropes. Trill gets one back, and that Hunter's Fury does take down two. Suddenly, just like that, Spot is right back in the round. It's all down to player one, Penny. Penny does have the Blade Drum active, as well as an Operator. So fully activated jet right here what a shot penny are you kidding me that was insane accuracy from long range off the updraft that's a jet man if i've ever seen one my god
my God, what a shot. And that brings Nevergun right back into the game, too. While a long rotation is happening out of Rustin. The also rotations coming from Penny. Last player standing. Free kill for one Penny. Rustin remaining. finds player one. The bomb is located on site for A. 30 seconds left. Penny trying to do a quick rotation. Has the time to do so because Rustin has to try to figure out is Penny still here? Is that what's going on? Using the utility, the bomb in hand. Unfortunately for Rustin, has no idea that Penny rotated around. And making noise, Penny knows exactly where Rustin is now. Under catwalk, but where did they walk to from there? Blades from activated. Snuck behind the turret, dropped, Penny knows. Rotates right in front of Rustin, what was that? What? Okay. Switching sides. Okay, so. So Penny rotates for a flank kill, right? It makes Boston know that Penny's going to be on that A entry from T side. As they're claiming that HIA's ping is spiking, it is at 60 plus. Are they going to take pause? Okay, they did. We are on a pause. He did it. So Rustin thinks that Penny's over at A site over here. I can't, I don't think I should be looking. Uh, Rustin sets up the turret and everything for that. Burns the lockdown when Penny's not even near is rotating anyway. The ultimate basically useless. Rustin still thinks Penny's going to be coming from attacker side into A. Sets up the turret and everything for it. Penny goes to heaven. The drop down sound effect happened. And honestly, it was just the right click nerf. We can chalk it up to that. It happens. A little unfortunate situation, but still, I mean, let's be real. 9 3 on the half, that's pretty good. So that's okay. Penny still did amazing play. That's still around. Uh, that shot onto Trill was nuts. And good job on Rustin for just holding composure and getting that shot off. Clutching out the round on the 1v1. That's going to be a 3-9 to nine score line for Spot Up. They're going to have to try and make a comeback here on defense side. But with a double sentinel setup, it is certainly winnable. Trill sitting at a nice and comfy single digit ping. Must be nice. If I ever see that in my lifetime in any game ever, I'll be a happy man. So thus far, what we've seen that I've never done is they certainly don't seem uncomfortable on Icebox. Now there's little things here and there for mispositioning that they might be able to shore up later on, but the overall individual talent is certainly there for this team, so. There isn't going to be a ton of adaptation that needs to be done. It's more so the uh, team synergy. How exactly they want to attack sites from what positioning, put which agents where, things like that. The game is now on pause. We're going to get back into the action starting the second half. 9-3, to three, never done, leading the scoreboard. Placing alarm boss. Penny leading the kill count. An absolute slayer. Was top of the scoreboard yesterday on both games that we casted for never done up against Hollywood Hooligans. Penny getting over 20 kills both games. Despite the first game being a stomp, the second game being a little bit more competitive, but still certainly in the favor of... Never done. Entry from Zelsis. Battle stage mode activated. Jet, get out of my way. I'm the duelist now. Going into the side, dropping the wall, going for the plant. Onto the new default created because of the ice wall. The shock guard is underway and will kill Zelsis, but not before the bomb is dropped. Or I should say planted. Terminology matters there. Ooh, Rustin taking a lot of shots to the back of the head there. Uh, not where you want to be looking, but had to clear under hell. 
We're in hell, under heaven. Vandy peeking at almost the perfect time, but luckily for HIA, cover was there. Figment getting nice shot off to the top side. Penny jumping on site, but Rustin getting the better end of it. Player one, last player alive, trying to get it happen with Figment with a Quadra on the pistol round. Securing those kills for the team with four and a half seconds remaining. Coming up huge is Figment. But we can't count short all the ship damage coming from the team as well. Nice team effort overall for spot up with a much needed win on pistol round. Because regardless of a team comp, if you lose pistol round, economically, you're likely going to be losing the next round as well. And that's going to give them not much breathing room for this half. But now, they're sitting right, right, right nice. It will be a four spy, though, on the side of Never Done. So we'll see what they can make happen with that in mind. Effie dropping the owl drone. Trying to get some information of what's going on on the A site. Rotation happening on the side of HIA. We're spot up. Just gonna leave the kill joy on B site as a sentinel. Can be able to hold that just fine. Can Pecky get a nice opening kill with 33 HP dropping off from the high ropes. But that shock jar coming in effectively. Take down Can Pecky on the response. The flick nearly there by Vanity. Having to fall back a little bit, 30 HP, not much to work with in that situation. Zell says, able to just barely get into the plant zone with that wall. So at the very least, they'll be able to get the 300 bucks each. And then just slow the ascents. We know now that Zell says is here, Russell with a nice swing onto the... Maze. And Troll just trying to hold them off. Get some range happening, but Rustin Spectre is a little bit too much for them. One yeah. enemy remaining. That's probably alive. They know exactly where they are. Figment finishing up the fight yet again. But triple kill this round going over to Rustin, who is now gonna be one point away from the lockdown. Round three lockdown is pretty swell. Pretty nifty. Very useful for a defending team. Because of that force by, are they going to force again? Never done. It looks like they're going to go for kind of like a half buy. They just want to make sure they can buy up next round. As that lost streak is building, they'll be at full next round. And around about 1.4k should be able to give you a full buy. The hope by Kentucky. Ban not able to connect with that Marshall. Becky holding strong from tube. The upper canister. Ghost out now though, but from Kentucky. That's all he has is a ghost actually. Now Bulldog in hand, picked up off of Figment. Figment having a very successful first half thus far, but falling early this round. Peggy just blasting off again, going through the site. But not much ammo left in the Bulldog's clip, and Penny with the beautiful shots. Trill finally putting down the Tyrant. Zelsus versus Fulcran. Effie to support the comrade who has stepped down from the usual duelist role. Saw Zelsus on Phoenix and Reyna yesterday. Left. I have the spike. Because of Icebox Strats. You will not kill be the one going on to the Sentinel. Ooh, Rustin playing very aggressive in positioning to get that Bulldog kill. And Lockdown's now available. They know they're gonna be on A site. Lockdown's gonna be dropped over in screens. And with 10 seconds left, they have to go for a plant and then get out of dodge, but they're not going to be able to make it in time. Will they? Both detain is going to be the hunt. Zelsus knows exactly where they are. Fish in a barrel. Didn't see Zelsus. What? 
No. No. You saw the arm? What? No. Oh, no. As one. Oh, no. Fulcrum, or uh, Rustin, I mean, Rustin saw the arm of Zelsus. Well, at least we did. It might be a spectator thing where we can see more than the player can because of how a fog of war works so maybe maybe on their end for rustin they couldn't see on their actual client side player side possible all know is for us as spectators we certainly saw the arm of zelsus peek around the corner when when rustin was peeking that that's so unfortunate And that's a little bit of a mental tilt, I'd say, is a is something that could cause a mental tilt, is really what I should say. We'll have to see a spot if we maintain composure after that one. That is certainly a tilt or trill falling to player one, opening kick on the round. Player one picking up a second one. Dropping into the lockdown as well. Penny going on to site, getting a lot of damage off. By a nice left. shot on to Figment. Gonna be a safe round for the side of spot up, so unlikely they win it because of that. They know where at least one member is. One enemy remaining. Penny on the alert, finding two, three for the round. Beautiful lineup. Hits that headshot. And the upgrade to a nice Reaver Sheriff. It's now 11 to 5. Spot up still had that breathing room to earn from winning at least three rounds on defense. Or on attack, I should say. And then winning the first two rounds of this half. So they still have one round to give if needed. But there'll be no more save rounds for this team for sure. Be full buy every round no matter what. Manages to tag at least one on the attacking side. It's going to be Zelsus. The response, Hunter's Fury. Going from Elfie. Not able to find the success that Figment was able to find. Orbital Strike to get them on site, but they weren't able to get a plant right away. Though it does certainly allow them to Get the wall down to secure the plant there for. And now a 5v5 retake situation for spot up. Rustin down low. Get out of my way. Does find the Molotov. The swarm grenade. Bandy winning out the fight against Rustin. Penny going on a tear off on the side. Can Peggy able to put that down? HIA getting two, but last player alive. Can Peggy with an operator in hand? Blades are activated. Trying to figure out what to do in the situation. It's going to be saving the operator. I think that's a great call. The bomb is going to go down. You ran out of time in that situation. The operator costs so much money, as you probably don't want to leave yourself that exposed to the backside. But Can Peggy gets away with it regardless. Uh, the ultimate was not used by Can Peggy, to be noted. So has an operator, has blade storm. If the teammates can't fully buy up good weaponry, uh, can consider dropping the operator for somebody else, like the sage, perhaps something like that. Um, while using the blade storm as your quote unquote rifle. Out. But instead, they choose to force buy for the rest of the team. Scattered array of shield options. And Penny going option aggressive in mid lane, finding HIA, but that headshot connects on the Vandal. 
Resurrection available from the shadows and blade storm for the side of spot up. Just the resurrection. We're never done. They're gonna make the rotation over to the mid. Try to get control back and get that resurrection on Penny if they can control kitchen. Revive Penny right here can be Doom. That's gonna be a bait. Pushes forward, gets the kill onto HIA. It works right out. Figment taking down Penny though. Unlucky. Yeah, I hate to see it. Uh, that Recon Bolt went under the floor? Question mark? How? Why? What? Zelsa's on the peak. Rustling getting the better end of it. Zelsa's swinging the aim a little bit too far. Overcorrected on the peak. Now with the B side control is Vanity. And player one. Bomb in hand. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds to work with. This is map point for Never Done. They could go and force on site. Vanny does have two smokes to work with. Player one has Larmbot and uh, Swarm Grenades. They are going to go for it. 10 seconds left. Kenpeki's going to maybe go for the shot to the box. Planted. Decides not to do so Last until too late. Standing. Player one getting two kills. What? <laughs> Oh, going to be down to Kenpeki. This is for map point. Cannot connect with the right click. The nerf is too strong. Feels bad, man. Being a team player, but definitely shines a lot more on Duelist from what I've seen. Turn out. We'll be seeing HIA in a very similar setting. Placing swarm grenade. We'll be going over to Placing swarm grenade. the Reyna. away from that battle stage. It's also a player that I enjoy seeing on Duelist a lot more as well. The only difference is between this team, Rust is still on Killjoy, but we see player one onto that Cypher. Cypher being more of that agent that I associate to player one with a lot more. Player one has been dominating on that Cypher for a very long time now. Opening frag goes over to Vandy, taking out Trill, even for so many combat. Vandy proving to be the Dark Lord of the lobby, but HIA is saying no more Dark Lords allowed. Overhealing on the Reyna, overpowered on it. Pistol rounds, in my opinion. The overheal is so good on pistol rounds. Can Becky find a nice flank kill on Epi? Penny and Zelsis coming up big for the team. HIA winning out on Zelsis. It's going to be a one versus two situation. HIA knows where one is. Try and ba wall bang it through the window over here. Has to get the defuse off. Oh, that right click dosh away by Penny. Oh, that was so slick. Woo! The fade away. Not even close, baby. Not even close, baby. So a penny. The right click was nerfed, so you don't right click and then say that you go for another right click. The second right click spreads quite a bit, and that third one is just so much you might as well not even do it. Waiting for that recon bolt doesn't come in. The place penny looked at, in case anybody doesn't know, is a pretty common recon bolt location for a holds if you're a Sova, but Sova is pushing out through the mid and be coming up behind Effie soon enough. Completely silent. Meanwhile, Kenpeki with the Bucky on site is sprayed down from the smoke. Unlucky, to be honest. One enemy Penny with beautifully played shots with a stinger. It's a double kill in one clip. Woo! I got the spike. Yowza. Spike planted. 1,000 credit gun, by the way. It's just a classic in hand. It's unlikely if it can pull off this victory, but let's give it a good old honest go. The old college try, you know. Of course, with just classic in hand, they have superior weaponry and longer ranges and a pincer maneuver. How much that Figma could have done in that situation. The flank was good, but it was a little bit too slow, though it needed to be that pace because you didn't want to make noise. 
It's just that A side got pushed on a little bit too fast for that flank to pull off. I like the Battle Octopus. It's good stuff. Great sticker choice, Penny. Uh, I'm a little bit more of a fan of the bear that Bandy has. So I'm going to inspect him instead. I'm going to inspect Bandy. BT Dubs, pronoun, going Get off of the agent. Zelsa's holding that garage door in case anybody decides to push out. And Pecky and HIA working player one trying to make a distraction happen over A site, but not able to pull ah. off the one versus two situation. Zelsa's finding a Rustin as Penny is going to go through the garage door ah. and goes to the left click option instead of right click of that range, which right click isn't the best. Because the timing might need to do that going with the headshot. Uh, it's a tough decision in that situation. Go for the gamble on the right click and go for the crazy skill with the left click. Penny is crazy skills, I can't blame the left click choice. It'll be a long range option from Effie. Shotguns are all they got. Has the lineups. Has the first kill. And the shotgun kill Trill was a little bit too empty on the defuse. He got hit by a shock dart. Was that important? Effie takes those. Effie definitely takes those. The shock darts were really there as a deterrent, if anything, at this level. And Trill getting a little bit too eager to take out the defuse, getting killed anyway. Definitely, uh. Definitely a morale victory for the side I've never done there. For now, only up two to one. As the match is now paused for a tech issue. Apparently somebody lagged out. It might be HIA again. I'm, I guess because HIA was having ping issues in the first game. Which is why the tech issue, uh, tech pause came in. Now they're going to unpause as both teams are dropping the R bomb in the chat. That's a good bomb, by the way. That wasn't a bad bomb. Woo, what a hold on the headshot taking out Vanity by Kempeki. Here. Vanity had to even clear too many angles before looking up. Kempeki has it on the off angle. We like to see it. Team's completely spread out. No uh, site execution, no way. Spot up playing defense. They play together a lot, but they're playing defense, so they kind of have to spread out. Never done. Very skilled players. But they're a new roster put together. So they haven't quite worked out site executions as a team. Yet. The team that has tons of potential is Kenpeki's gonna rotate out and find a nice back shot. Even ping Zelsus before getting the headshot as well. I had all the time the world to do that. Can't Player pick. one finally opening pick on to HIA though. Last because of that paranoia standing. from the teammate. Digman is able to get those kills, a double kill on site. Finishing it off. Rounding off the rounds two to two. Yeah, never done as a team that does not have a whole lot of competitive experience as a team. Though a lot of these players are certainly experienced. So I'm really looking forward to what they can do in the future. As they can have more time to work out site executions, things like that. But for now, they kind of just rely on a lot of their personal skill. Placing swarm grenade. With a few strategies here and there. And honestly, they look so good doing even that. This player one finds opening pick on to HIA. Owl drone trying to figure out where that slippery player one went to and found him. But I won't be able to do a whole lot with that information, to be honest, because all they knew was that player one was at a lobby and player one's the only one showed up on the owl drone. They don't know if they're going for that. 
or B site or actually fully rotating over today. Just barely dodges the owl drone, but it comes right back around. Find Spignet. Danny going to be looking for a smoke out. placement. Covering Cover CT, probably out. heaven. Stealing sight. Figment with the lineups. Ready to drop. Can Peggy first on sight. Finds player one. Can't quite finish off. The kill does find Bandy in last second. One enemy Stuffs remaining. the ultimate usage. And it's all down to Effie. One versus three on site. Spot looking so much better on Haven. Effie gets two, but Russin on the side angle, able to clean up the kill regardless. Love the bear. Good stuff, Rustin. Great bear choice, Rustin. Uh, I don't know who to root for anymore. We have a member of both team rocking the cake bear. Now I want everybody to win. We just need to put Bandy and Rustin both on the same team. That's, the, that's how we solve the problem. All right, spot up, looking so much better on Bandy. Looking a lot more comfortable. That's it on Bandy. I meant to say on Haven. Oh my God, I think I said on Bandy. That's awkward. Looking a lot better on Haven. Zell says with the entry, they're doing it a half by some sheriffs. Some singers. Emperor's activated with a singer. That thing's going to shoot like a turret. It's going to go burr in just a second. Gun here. Never done did lose vanity. HIA with a beautiful lineup there on site, pushing into hell. Mepeki getting those kills. Last player at A long. So Epi yet again was only able to find one before falling into Trill. Picks up two on the round from the shadows. Oh no no, you don't deserve available. my dimensions. Lockdown available for Rustin. Time Neural up. theft for player one. Haven is, oh, this is a nice spot. one of the more attacker favored maps. And Neverdone's getting stuffed thus far by Spot Up, which is a great look for Spot Up. Here. We actually haven't really Cage seen Neverdone have to fight back from a significant round deficit before. So it'll be really interesting to see if Spot Up can get a few more round wins here and see what Neverdone can do as an adaptation, as a response. Or if Neverdone just simply wins out using the Aldrone, clearing out A site. Nobody even is here by Spot Up. Dark cover clo clogging up the heaven as per standard. Planting in the back corner is interesting. Oh my god, is that shocker stop the lockdown? It does! Effie with a shock turret lined up stopping the lockdown. What? Today I learned, bro. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I haven't seen that before, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was sick. Good good lineup by Effie. Taking down the lockdown, holding on the site. Can Peggy One holding down with the remaining. operator? Last player alive oh, is Figment. So. One versus two situation. Finds Effie. Now needs to find player one. This player is so good with the shots, but Figment gets the kill. But it's not going to be in time. Player one didn't need to find the kill, just needed to peek on the timing. That was it. Everyone dies, but never die gets the round victory. That lockdown could not be saved. Rustin now knows. Can't place it there next time. Here. They're even pinging it. It's talking about how, man, this is this is where we need to place it next time. If Placing alarm bot. they have a lineup like that, then we need to place it on off angle and make them have to Placing guess the lineup. Get out of my 
my way. Placing swamp grenade. I'm amped. I've been wanting to learn sober lineups Placing a little better, and now that I saw that, I we in there. Now looks like they're going to be destroyed. going away from the A site location. They're going to play for C instead. They do have garage control, though. They don't quite know it yet. They haven't cleared the window. Pinning with a nice entry flag. Grabbing one before Trill finishes it off. They try it on site, but player one gets the better end of it. Trill finding the connection again to Trill back to back. Just avenging comrades. Effie with a nice hold on the angle. Too good. It's going to be a rapid rotation over to the A side for Vanity. They don't want none of that C site hold. Kebeki even has an operator left. in hand on that jet. No blades for him, but. We'll be able to make use of that one shot kill weaponry on anything but the legs. Bandy doing that shroud stuff with one HP and a dream. One HP. That right click's gonna be deadly here. Player standing. There it goes. Operator in hand is all coming down to Effie yet again. They're gonna stick it. The cloud bursts were nerfed to go away a lot faster, and Effie gets caught off guard a little bit. Was pushed down the site, rotating a little bit wide there. Didn't he go that wide for the angle on the bomb? So might have gone that wide thinking that the uh, smokes were still longer? Perhaps? Because uh, it did just recently get nerfed from 7 seconds to 4.5 seconds for the duration of those cloud bursts from the jet. So perhaps Effie forgot in that moment. Uh, otherwise, I'm not really sure why he would swing that wide in that situation. But nevertheless, Figment had the angle. So as the cloud burst went away earlier, was able to take the shot. And even if the shot was missed, then Kempeki would have had time to stand up and ready the angle before the cloud burst ended that Kempeki was hiding in. So that was a great setup for her spot up. Something you love seeing from teams like Spot Up that have been playing for together for a lot longer time. Never done. A few things to learn still as a team. But what better time to learn than in a competition such as this? Tactical pause happened. It'd be a real bummer if you're doing a Yoru play, dropping your teleport for a location pre-round and attack pause comes in. Speaking of Yoru, uh, Yoru, Yoru, I think it's how you're supposed to pronounce it. I think if your Japanese pronunciation would be Yoru, Yoru. Because all syllables have the same stress as each other. Whereas American, we stress one syllable more than the other, the rest for some reason. So it'd be Yo, I don't know. I'm also not Japanese, so I'm doing my best here. Anyway, that agent is not available right now. Currently uh, banned by Riot, as they typically do when they release new agents. Uh, they rarely allow people to play them right away. Uh, it's kind of the same with uh, on the League of Legends side, since Riot Games has done that for over a decade at this point. Uh, they release champions uh but they make professionals play patches behind so professionals are always playing one to two patches back from what live is uh which naturally allows them to figure out if there's any bugs or anything that needs to be fixed on live servers from champions because when you have game testers you can test as much as you want but once you put out to millions of players then obviously those millions of players are going to be able to one person will be able to find something and then post that on reddit and then everybody knows about it um, whereas you may only have like maybe like a hundred or less game testers uh, in your studio, a little bit tougher. 
Uh, what Valorant does is the patches are live for professional play. Uh, so as soon as a patch releases, instantly all pro competitions play on that patch, uh, which is why they're working the patches around to be where like it releases a little bit shorter of when their big BCS tournaments come out, things like that. Let's go. Uh, but because of that, the agents are available instantly. Therefore, they just have to issue a ban on those agents until on rank servers and things like that. People can play those agents a lot to determine okay, there's no bugs, nothing like that. We can actually play this agent and it'll be good for competitive integrity. Enough about that though. Full execution onto side. Figment getting the nice shot guard, core kill. Rustin following up and he able to get the answer one only four, never done. And that is going to be it on the round. Figment getting three. And man, that was explosive. It was a safe round for never done. And that was the first time I've seen never done just throw themselves zombie mode, like throw Zerg rush onto a site. Uh, they've done aggressive plays before, but they never, I, haven't, I don't remember seeing them do full Zerg rush modes like that. Uh, so that was, it caught me a little bit off guard as a caster. That's also because I was just right now here. talking about a topic such as Carrick Vance. Uh, good thing right on here. spot up, they were not right caught off guard, especially not Figment. He's doing a great job holding that line. We'll be able to find some chip damage nicely onto Vanity, who's down to only 45 HP now. No armor. 45 HP. Has ultimate available. Can get the heck out of dodge quickly. A lot slower approach from Never Done Now. The eco was in. They only got one kill from it, so not the greatest of eco rounds, but it wasn't the worst. But now they actually have investment on this round. They want to take a lot slower. They don't want to just throw their lives away. Spot up has proven that they're able to hold a rush strategy. Vandy got scattered out by the recon bullet. At perfect timing from Figment. Kenpeki holding this angle with the operator with the assistance of HIA. So if Kenpeki misses or there's more than one, it has to fall back. There will be assistance. Goes for the blind right click and is able to get the kill. Magical. HIA up against the last player alive. Penny on site. Holds an angle on site. Rustin had no idea. A Penny holding. Knows the bomb's in short. Needs to be able to beat out HIA. Goes for the swing. But the timing is not there. HIA baits the shots and goes back behind in Cubby. Shrill peaks at the right timing. Once Penny's distraction is there. Beautiful timing from spot up there to execute the 2v1. Now a 7-3 score line. Performing admirably. Only two rounds remain on the half. Never done is going to want to get one, maybe two more rounds. I mean, obviously they're gonna want to get all the rounds one forehead, but you know, realistically, they can get at least one more round here on the half, and they'll have breathing room going into the next half. You always want breathing room at the very least going into a half. Looks like it's gonna be Penny going entry on the site first. Devon is there. Pushing up with that Stinger in hand. He's also finding another last person on the site. Is Trill falls to Effie. One enemy remaining. Player one Effie. takes out Kempeki and Figment that's with the Sheriff Effie. on the flank. Oh, that's some upgrades if I've last ever seen them. Fully the upgraded up. And that was on a save round. Stingers and Sheriffs. Uh, so what that tells me if I was on spot biz, hey, their uh, seaside's a little weak. We fell instantly. But honestly, a lot of that came down to execution was huge. Uh, the paranoia came perfectly to stop Rustin, and then this, the, the, the eye right in front of Rustin. So there's a lot that Rustin had to deal with in a short period of time. And then they just show up on a lower angle. And Pecky find a nice opening kill onto Zelsus. While they may have lost all their weaponry last round, they were still mostly able to buy up this round. 
Owl drone trying to find some information going on here. Pinning he spotted up onto the A site. Now we need to rotate over. Perhaps find another angle to work with. Player one with an operator. I don't commonly see player one with an operator in hand. Trying to sneak up on the B site. Really a four versus five B execution is not something I would favor, but sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. We cannot protect Bandy. The bomb does get planted though, just in time. And Becky working on a flank with the operator in hand, no ult available. The dark cover will allow them to shoot through the peak. Penny finds Figment. Get out of my way. Does get blades from activated as well. Player one finding HIA with the operator. Finding Trill as well to pursue situation. I mean, and Kenpeki up against just player one and Kenpeki with a jump shot. Very aggressive play out of Kenpeki. Saying screw it. I'm going for the shot. Takes it, nails it. Brings the team eight Switching to four. Sides. Never done. Did get that at least one more round I was talking about for breathing room here. Eight to four is a round that is a round differential only going to half. That if you're down, you're like, okay. We need to improve. We need to step up for sure because we're losing. But we have like, we, you don't feel that pressure, right? You don't feel them breathing down your necks. You don't feel like, oh my God, if we lose one or two rounds, it's all over, you know? So you're not in a state of panic, which is good if you're on a losing side of a half. So four rounds going to the half is about the lowest you want to be. Never done. We'll need to climb themselves back up. And this game is certainly winnable for both teams. Let's we'll see what Spot Up has to offer as far as executes onto the site. And see so what Neverdyne can do to defend Swab's executions. A lot of healers going out, trying to figure out exactly where Swab's located. Spot up overcorrecting him, actually. We saw the Owl Drone going off over the A site, and this all shifted over to B to A. Leaving C site completely wide open was Neverdyne. Bottom. Never done did that. Now I'm going to defend the site. Beautiful headshot by Figment. Finding a second. Has to reload. One a little bit unlucky. Remaining. Last player on the back site. Figment finds the headshot on that one as well. Effie in a tough spot. One charges. versus four. Didn't know exactly where to look because there were no good options. Comrades had fallen. The spot up with a bait on A and then a rotation over C. Pulling Never Done over to that site. Never done with a bit of an over rotation. What we saw Never Done do yesterday on Haven, we were up a lot going into the half up against Hollywood Hogans. They were up, I believe, 10 2 or 9 3, one of those two going into the half. And they just all stacked B and then just challenged whatever site on the retake that they needed to challenge. Now we're seeing on the safe round of rotations happening. As Kenpeki's trying to hold the line, gets at least one. The Figment on the backside takes out the flankers. And it's all going to come down to Effie and player one to have to try to deal with this retake. Short in hand for player one, though, is not going to be a whole lot to work with. Uh, it's going to be even less to work with if you have your knife out when you challenge players. Though I don't think player one news can challenge somebody that close and personal. The round was over anyway, to be honest. Player one have to get a big kill on that shorty. Pick up the gun from the person he killed, probably a Spectre. Transition that into a second kill. And then figure out a way of finding off a one versus two on the retake that they have from long. When one person in window for garden has their bulldog. A little tough. 
a little tough situation to win out there. Going to round three of the half. Uh, Spot is actually pulling away a lot with this game. See Spot of Vandy out on the top side of C. Kopecky, blistering speed going onto the site. Does not see Vanity. HIA does find the kill. Zelsa's already on site early, but waiting for the rest of the team to rotate a little bit. Here's the shots. Cannot connect with the shot. Kill, though. Very surprisingly. Uh, it's very rare if you see Zelsa's miss shots like that. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. The first kill, the bomb get defused to half for sure. Going for the smoke play to defuse as well, but smoke side out too fast nowadays to really pull that off effectively. And with three players just spamming bullets into that spot anyway, you're not really going to survive it. It is what it is. Nice attempt by Penny. Uh, that was a little bit of a doom situation. Never done finding himself in doom situations a couple times here, back to back. So this is looking actually really likely to be a game number three. Never done at first, seemed like they were gonna be just swinging that momentum that they had from day one with how the performance went in game one, this best of three, but Spy Up answering right back to being far more comfortable on Haven. Getting sight. HIA doing a lot of distractions on the B site. Can't quite get a kill. Player one finding one on Rustin as well. They know it's going to be C activation. <sighs> Player one finding another with that bulldog before Pampecky finally puts it down. He will be able to get a bomb planned on, but it's a one ver or two versus four situation. He just finds Player one, standing. but will he find three more? Has the Hunter's Fury available? Right here. We know the Hunter's Fury is available too, so they have to push that fight. Have to push the angle and with the double swing between Penny and Vandy is too much for Fitman to hold off. Huge kill by player one peeking out towards Seaside from Garage. They're, Spot Up was trying to make a distraction happen on B to try to pull people away from Seaside. The player one, 200 IQ. Thought, you know what? Maybe this is just a distraction. Let me look at Seaside real quick. Of course, as a, as a Cypher, has all those Sentinel abilities available to help out with that foresight. Celsus finding the opening kick, and Pecky with that operator can't find much more to answer back. Here. So only the opening pick on to HIA is it. All members spot located on the A site. They've done a lot of rotations before and never done seem to have learned that. The first rounds never done was over rotating in response, but they adapted. They realized, you know, they do, they do rotations themselves. So. Nowhere to run. Going for entry hunter's fury. Just to try to clear the site, make it their way in. It's fairly committal to the A site, so you see player one rotating over from garage over to B now. So slowly inching their way more and more towards the A site is never done. Find out so is left. spot up doing the same. Out of charges, right here. Taking taken out by Zelsus Pig in the same kit, he's the only one alive, but that's not going to be enough. That's going to be an operator going to the hands of Penny. Not something you want to donate over to somebody as deadly with such a weapon as Penny. Blaze Storm is also available, so fully operational jet. That jet is fully operational. Spot up showing some signs of weakness right now on attack. 
Becky I just going to go with the uh, blade you. storm here, where the rest of the team buys up some rifles. Shit out of my way! It's going to be a half buy or save round if uh, Spot Up loses this one. Which they have rounds to work with, so it's not like they're in any form of Here. struggle yet. No panic mode to be initiated. But those rounds are certainly starting to slip away. Three to two and a half is spot up. That's after winning a pistol round and the anti eco. It's going to be the rotation over the A site, not over rotation. What he means. Like, all those blades are gone by now for Kenpaki. So, only two more blades left. And then just a classic beyond that. Flank is happening from Zelsis. We'll be running into Rustin while activating Empress. Unlucky, to be honest. A lot of spams happening on the way. Vanity getting a nice opening pick for the team. Cover going out. Figuring so on a nice Down. angle to defend that bomb. FP player one slaying out on sight while Russin Last now needs to try to handle his blade zone, will not be able to do so. Figment not able to do thing, anything either. No more smokes to work with. It's nothing to shock our into from behind cover. Had to expose himself and three members of Never Done were ready for it. Never done making a comeback now. Those initial rounds were won by a spot up. But never done figure out the the the, the footholds that they needed. Guy economy on the side. Looking nice and healthy economically too. Nice bear sticker by the way. Good stuff, Andy. I know it was you. Ken Pecky now with the 20 bomb for the team. Saying, all right, Penny, I can do the same thing. I can get a 20 bomb for the team, no worries. <sighs> Ken Pecky finding that kill onto player one. This is that half buy that I was talking about. Trying to get greedy for the gun and getting shut down by Vanity. Penny holding this angle here. Missing the shot uncharacteristically. Nice little jiggle peek by Trill though to try to bait that out. Last player standing. Being completely blind, wasn't able to find a shot. Trill only able to take down one before falling as well. The two kills total on the save round. Will not be able to fully buy up on the side of spot up. And Becky performing a lot better than he did in the first game. Maybe just need to do a little bit of a warm up. Figment still performing very well. Word on the street is HIA is having some ping issues and lag issues today, so that could be a big uh, arrow in the knee moment for that player. Who knows? Meanwhile, Penny going back up to top dog on their score line. A player one still up there despite being on that sentinel. Penny holding the line. It's going to be an operator versus operator duel, but Kenpeki is going to be the one swinging. Gets the kill. Kenpeki wins out this time. But Zelsis is on the closing a little bit. They know the turret was used to try to distract and at least give some information if somebody was there. Zelsis had to challenge it. Can Becky hold that line beautifully? Taken out. I don't know if that all joint actually found player one. Cage triggered. It was kind of like a last second kind of a thing. I think they know he's in there, but they have no idea if he were to take they could not get the dart connected at the very least. So it's going to be A-site execution. They've got two kills there. So, of course, they're going to naturally feel that the Here. location is going to be weak. Here. I think you're going to have to just rotate out. All right, team. They're going to Vandy with the operator. Shock dart. Shock dart. Spike the lineup from the shock darts. A little bit late to stop the default plant. 
Some damage went over to Thickman, but he was able to get out of there in time to not get killed. Fanny with a nice shot through the dark cover. Last player standing. And now the last player alive. Trill has the angle. The HIA kill and distraction sound effect makes Fanny want to look at A Match short. Point. Knowing where at least one player is. And Trill just kind of pokes out the dark cover. He gets the cross shot. Beautifully done. That's the second time now that both HIA and Trill have worked together for some Jiggle Peak action. Some bait and switch. Alright, it's going to be map point for spot up. This will be what would bring us to a game number three of this best of three series. Core finals. The Knight's Gauntlet. $5,000 tournament. Never die. But never done is going to need to come back with a five round swing. Or it's really going to be a four round swing going overtime. And then two more beyond there to win it in the first overtime. Hefty load for sure, but doable. Seen done. I've seen greater comebacks happen. I've also many times right I've here. seen people close out at 12-8 to win. They're in the lead. Fanny just getting some information of where they might be. Now knows that Zelsus is now? in Garden. She doesn't tell a whole lot of information, to be honest, but at least they know that it's probably not going to be a B take because there's only one person there. A huge paranoia, but Troll just spamming through the smoke. Able left. to find another. Player standing. Figment finds one. Kempeki as well. Kempeki with the blades from activated. Site secure. HIA going for the plant. It's all down to Penny. No blade storm. Only an operator. This is for a get map point on the side of spot up. Penny has to win a one versus three. Keep it alive. Guess one down knows where the second is located. They are at default but with an operator. It's hard to peek these angles. Can't really peek them close. But Penny's going to have to do it. There's no saving here. No save round available. You can't take this operator into game three. So Penny now stomping around, no making way. a lot of noise. HIA slyly. Slyly. Sneaking around the side. Though I suppose it's pronounced Hila, which isn't quite the same. But well, we got this. Hia, now on this Phoenix. Well, the rest of the team is on the usual players. So all these players have played the same thing except for Hia, which is on the third agent on three maps. Zelsa's also in Phoenix. That seems to be the flavor of choice with Duelist on this map, while Reyna was the one for Haven. So the exact same swaps, except for player one going over to Killjoy as well, away from the Cypher. Rustin holding down the line as he uh, gets the one. Zelsa's first blood, though. Can Peggy find another? Blasting on the side. Can Peggy can quite connect with the bandy, but Figment! Give him huge! For the double kill and then the round. That's gonna be round number one going for a spot up. We are looking to maintain that momentum from the first, uh, from the second game, I should say. Coming back strong with that mental from the first game. Love to see it. Out. Nice trade, giving the ghost over to Jet. Figment has the bulldog. Jet. Very effective with that gun. Oh, that's so nice. Figment even telling Jet to fly safe. Revealing area. That's some good positivity amongst that team chat. We love positivity. Alright, that recon bolt went underway. They decided to rotate away from that and go back to B side. B side did not work very well in the first right here. round, but you're feeling comfortable for it this time around. Very slow approach through B main. They do go for the orb. Rotation is underway, at least from Figment. Can Peggy kind of inching over there? He is uh, staying on site for A just in case is a bait. Full execution. You see the rotation coming out of the way now, though. 
Rustin shutting down both Zelsis and Penny. They can try to make it happen when the Bulldog shoots right through the flawless. smoke. And a flawless round. On the side of spot up. We do expect them to win that round, of course. But being flawless on top of that is fantastic. Keep all of your guns. Most of your armor. Only Figment being the one that lost armor here. But Kempeki saving on the second round. Just grabbing that ghost that Figment had left over. Now able to afford an operator. With full armor. So uh, let's kind of give a gander over to this player, shall we? No operator in hands of Penny as of yet. But fully bought is the side of... Never done. Get back with a nice re-peak. With the assistance of Hia. We're taking back over to heaven. Getting another angle. Very long rotation. It takes forever to get up there. Joke's over. You're dead. Shotguns have such wide OEs. It's kind of ridiculous. Owl drones out. Information gathering. Zelsa's on site. Bomb in hand. We'll be able to get that plant happening. It's player one trying to shut down FB. Uh, trying to shut down Rustin. Trill getting two before falling himself. Three two versus two. Depending on finding Trill. So it's going to be Kempeki. 150 HP versus two. Now the good idea that he's going to be in Fight heaven planted. to try to defend against the operator up, up high. He chooses to go with low angles, close quarters combat, knowing that Kenpeki has an operator. So Kenpeki can even either save here, which a lot of time work with. You can try to finagle some pick picks here. Clearing out those angles just in case, but widely going for the longer angle should they be in hell. If Kenpeki challenged from heaven, this was a doomed round. One enemy remaining. This is nothing. Oh, it's gonna push right through. There's no time available. Couldn't quite get the shot. If Kenpeki was able to get the nose cut there, I think maybe. Oh, Penny couldn't quite get out. Oh no. I think Kenpeki might have been able to get the defuse if he was able to get that no skip off. But Penny shut it down too fast. Very unlucky that they lost the round for a uh, spot up. But they will full buy up here for the most part. Both jets saving economy for the team by just going with the blade storm. Peek over the tree just in case. Owl drone leading the way. That's gonna be mid control for never done for free. Completely free mid control. I guess they technically had to use up an owl drone as the cost, but nobody was there. Nice shot from long range, so they don't know they're that this close. Penny and Zelsis. Kia was ready for it though. Takes down Zelsis. Figment's also waiting right around the corner. Penny falling back just to get a weapon. You know there's that loose over here. A shock dart forcing him away. And Kempeki finding a nice kill on the Penny. The right click coming in clean. Able upgrade him as well into the Vandal. Dropping random smoke, just trying to get the heck out of Dodge. Figment having the back. What a team player. Seconds left. Gets another kill. It's going to be a four versus two situation. Peeks right around one from that enemy. recon bolt. Beautifully done. Effie, the last one alive. 22 HP remaining. It's going to be one versus three. With only 15 seconds to go. It is not looking very likely. 10 seconds left. Headshot was there by Epi, but the Bulldog in hand, unfortunately for him. Couldn't quite get the kill. Finish on to that Omen. Trill holding it down. Finishing off the kill. 3-1 to one now for Spot Up. And it's certainly going to be a save round on the side of Never Done. Can I get this? 
tanks. The spot up with a nice three to one lead thus far. Likely to be a four to one, considering the economy of never done. Wrestling going with an Odin setup, something that a lot of sobers do here. Gain information on B main and then just shoot through, but a lot of people will wise up to that, so they'll push through instantly on B main these days. Unless it's like a save run, they're trying to Zerg rush to try to get a good kill or two before moving on to the next round. Sheriff in hand for Zelsa. Come on site. Can't connect. Big Mac finds his own kill. Can Pecky finds two? Finds three. Might find four, and he does. Can Pecky with the quadra kill, taking his spot up to a four to one score line. But now, never done. They're gonna be able to buy up here. Rifles in hand. See what they can do. Try to pull themselves back into this game. Penny leading the charge as per usual. Kampeki doing the same. Been very impressed thus far by Kampeki and Figment both. In the series. On the side, never done. Been impressed. Penny and player one for sure. Epi's had great lineups for the Sova thus far, too. Owl drones out. You should run. Try to find some information. Destroy the lockdown instantly to thrust it. Now I've seen that before. Rustin has been there, done that, seen it before, shut it down instantly. The Odin play. Uh, that's a feels bad, man. Can we get some Sages in chat for player one? Nowhere to run! Use the lockdown and it's just instantly removed. Bummer sauce indeed. Ah. Penny finding their way on the trill, though opening into Silent B side anyway is still going to be a B execute. Crossing the distance, taking down Rustin. It's going to be HIA on the side trying to hold it down, only able to get one as the four remaining bursts onto the side when Kampeki and Figment trying to retake the site. Spike planted. He was able to get away with a reload, fully sprayed out. Peaking when the reload was needed to happen after the full spray, Zelsa is just taking that shot. Great timing. Dodging that shock dart as well as Pigman. After avenging the fallen comrades, it's going to be one versus three on the site. Bomb has already been planted. About 30 ish seconds to remaining. Standing ahead. What can be done here by Phil Freak Pigment? There's two weak players. All players were very weak on the side, never done, but there's so many players still. They had all the angles. Big Man had a rough time there. And Vanity expending. Nice sticker. Expending the ultimate just to save the eco. Save that rifle. Because of holding the bond the way that Vanity was, there's no way that they'd be able to get out of the site. So just use the ultimate. The ultimate is typically only used for like getting some information or regrouping to defend a site faster. On attack, it's usually used for just rotating for a quick bomb plan if you're trying to get an ego bomb plan off or something. So typically it is used as like Shadow an eco option. Cover Joke's over, you're dead. All right, it's gonna be Zelsus now saying they're dead, but it was in fact Zelsus who died without getting a whole lot of information off. Push right through, getting shut right back down. Rustin holding an aggressive angle for Killjoy. All utility already expended up or not bought. Well, plenty of money to work with, so expended. So now the rotation over to A site.
And it's going to become Peggy with the first look. Operator ready for the They're making this rotation over slowly but surely. Left. But uh, this is going to be a tough peak. <laughs> Dodges right out before taking a boulder to to the face. Can Peggy, or really to the body, to the face, and be dead. Trill finding player one on the rotation as well. Player one trying to make a distraction happen on B side. Can Peggy finding Penny, the last player alive. Ten seconds left. Penny, Kim Peggy definitely saw a entry. Now running away. Banny yeah. looking to save ammo again, save the economy again. Kim Peggy, as much as he wants to stop Banny from saving that rifle, definitely does not want to lose the operator. 11 to 3 scoreline for Kim Peggy, having a fantastic game this far. It's gonna be a rough buyout on the side of Never Done. They're probably gonna force it, considering they already had a rifle and they have a decent amount of money to work with. Do you see them thinking about it though? Ah, oh, they decide to go with the half buy, just grab some sheriffs. 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 Sheriffs! A little bit of a slow reaction from Quebec there, I'd say. But perhaps they're just predicting a second jump. Could have been the case. Knows that they're going for that mid control, having to fall back on that operator. Cannot hold close angles. And if they flood out at mid, then even if you get that first kill on the operator, they're just gonna be able to steamroll through you. Steel one can only get you so far. Player one trying to make a ruckus over on B site yet again. Seems to be his MO, just distract on the one site while the team attacks on the other site. But player one does it so often that the one time that player one doesn't do that, the enemy team thinks it's going to be a distraction and there's going to be a slow rotation. He yeah, finding the first kill on his Zelsis. Figment trying to hold the line as he finds Penny. He had trades off with Effie. Vanny answering right back. This is going to be four versus two retake. Planted. Should be doable, especially the blaze from Kepeki. Both players located in hell. Player one tried to juke away. Does get found out. Last player, Bandy in hell. Finds the kill on a trill, but Rust and Day will finish it off. And that's going to be a three players alive. Operator in hands. Great economical standing. For sure. Six to two line here, spot up looking so good. All the movements in the world and never done, kind of falling apart a little bit. Having a rough time and trying to attack onto ascent. Perhaps that Haven game is still on their minds. Perhaps ascent is just a rough game for them. First blood taking out Kenpeki is actually a really big deal. They lose out on the operator and everything. Kenpeki had Blazestorm available, had that operator. Rustin's shutting down Vanny though. Able to fight back HIA taking down Zelsis. I still don't know if it's HIA or Hia. So we're going to use both, I think. If he's picking these corners, trying to get some control over tree site. Trying to see if the coast is clear to plant. Three versus four on the attack. Planted. Locking sight. We'll see how the retake goes. This player one finds that first kill. Penny finds another. Player one knows where Figment is. Can't quite get HIA. Shot done. But Effie with the shock dart is able to slow their approach, make it really tough for them to be able to push through. It's all down a figment. Last player alive. Senses one's in hell, but doesn't know where the other is. One enemy Finds remaining. a nice look. Can't quite finish the fight. Effie's. Effie closes out the round. Trying to hide. Oh! Barely makes it out. Man, that... 
It's always a weird feeling. When the round's ending like that, and you look back and see how close you are, and it's just right in your face. It gets freeze framed. It could have killed you. But just a millisecond or two. I'll find them. The difference. Deploying drone. One thing to know, Neverdrone is undefeated so far on Ascent. They performed very well beforehand. So perhaps just a little bit of a slow start perhaps, but 6-3. The most rounds they've let a team get over them so far is 7 on Ascent. Kimpeki with an opening frag onto Zelsis. Getting right back to the way he was. Only 10 HP to work with, yeah. but at those longer ranges, 10 HP should be enough. Is I not able to do a whole lot with that run it back? Just gets information where a couple members are of the other gun. Penny's able to work their way straight up to the CT side of med control. A little bit of an awkward angle to hold here. Left. The figment was eager enough to challenge, rotate around. It's been activation, rotation, and capitalization onto the B site. The Hunter's Fury trying to slow him down. Up gets a nice shotgun kill, but the Hunter's Fury finds player one, HIA, finds Penny. Bandy trying left. to get on site just a plant, but Rustin is on site, ready to go, ready to get at him. Finds a kill on the so Finds the kill on the bandy yeah. and we'll be able to donate that diffuse over to HIA. Let them get that run it back yet again. Perhaps this half needs four more points for it. All right, look at the scoreboard. Kim Pecky and Figment leading the team as per the usual. HIA having a lot better game than beforehand. Rustin as well. Overall, all of spot up just playing a lot better than previously in this series. Penny just not able to find a way of just running it off with a kill. So your player one struggling to find kills himself. Effie just trying to hold the team together a little bit. Get out of my way. All of uh, most of never done's. Having a little bit tougher time so far. Penny with the blade to activate. It's going to be a save round. Side right down. Blasting on the side with that tailwind. Trying to use those cloud bursts to provide some cover just to get under the site. They are able to push them, get that plant down. I'm surprised Kenpeki was not able to find a kill so far. Ooh, a beautiful you shot through run. the corner there. That's going to be player one's lockdown. This is not a spot that Rustin is able to just shoot through. Zealous is a beautiful pressure towards tree. Three versus four retake now for spot up. It's not looking good for them. Zealous is on the alert. It gets so tough for them to view anything here. Does Zealous get the ace? Can't do it. Can Pecky won't be able to live. And that's gonna be a thrifty round with Epi being the sole survivor. Last round. But will not be able to get close enough to grab a gun. Last round of the half. Can Pecky getting a triple? Was a triple or quadra? I know Zelsa's got a quadra. Zelsa's coming up huge that round for the team. So while the score line's down there on the on the on the kills, doesn't mean that the player can't just make some clutch rounds happen anyway. It's something I love about Valorant, especially on competitive levels, is on the competitive scene, players, even if they're struggling and not having a good score line for a game, they can still make a huge right clutch here. round happen. Our spike carrier is dead. Wow, the shock guards you can see through the wall kind of happening there. As uh, Effie is going to be doing more damage to his team than the enemy here. Unfortunately, he's also finding some injuries alongside Penny. The ball was dropped in a main. And 
And Kebeki is a little bit in a tough spot. Does want to kill an Effie miraculously. As Rustin is a one versus two. Run it back is available for Delsis. Pitting, shutting it down. Getting a nice swing headshot with the Vandal. We're going to score lines to a lot more competitive 7 to 5 going into the half. When I believe they're leading 6 to 1, 6 to 2. And they're at 4 to 1, 6 to 2, line for a spot up, but never done. They started finding momentum. They started getting their rally pants on. Raised their glasses of morale. They came back pretty strong on the later end of the half. Nearly tied up going into uh, the swap here. Player one getting opening frags alongside the teammates here. Nice entry. One going into site. It's gonna be a rough time so far for spot up on attack. Flawless. Piss around. Four never done. Vanny with a perfectly selected sticker. I want to clap, it doesn't sound good on camera on the microphone, so we just won't. Uh, but great sticker usage by Vandy. Great pistol round by Neverdone. And likely that's going to be taking us to a tied round score here. As we're expecting it spot up to just do a save round here and just come back stronger on the third. Cover going out. All right, bomb drop near Gelato. Behind cover, somebody, nobody will know. Penny player one is with the frags. Effie pushing through with Penny as well. And Trill finding one kill. But well, that's gonna be it on the eco. Not much to be gained on the side of spot up. Here. It was an eco round. They did get one kill, but typically you want to get two or three kills, maybe the bomb plant. And the comeback is happening for Neverdone. Spot Up was slipping away, but this will be the first big full round, round by for Spot Up on attack. So we'll see what they can bring to the table. Now they can be a lot stronger. I gotta give props, Penny and Zelsis both have been stepping up majorly in the past few rounds. Everyone I've never done, honestly, has been coming back strong. Rotations back to forth. Both teams just trying to just poke for information, try to figure out where they can attack. Here. Kempeki pushing into mid control. Doing so without any utility use. Do you know exactly where he is now? And he finds a kill on Russell as well. Had to push through that Molotov. The hot hand doing the damage. HIA is able to get one trade off at least before falling. Kenpeki a little bit up close to personal left. here as the dark cover has a few more seconds remaining. Pushes through, but player one's ready for it. This will be A take. Set up perfect timing by Figment. We'll need a reload. Backs away to do so. Bomb was planted there for by Trill with the opening provided by Pigment. Perfect rotation through destruction. Some shots through the floor, trying to just guess. Blinding. 
I think both of Paranoia beautifully done. Last player standing. Figment with a hold from Long. Trill on the owner side. Figment trying to do a little bit of bait, but it doesn't matter. Trill had the angle held. Fe having to drop down is a terrible angle to do so. So spot up with their full buy rounds, able to get a win under their belt. Back up to eight to seven. But never does able to do the same thing. So we'll have to see how this goes exactly. The economy isn't the greatest on this side of spot up. They weren't able to perfectly buy up. Drop the spike. Because he lost a few members of the team last round. So again, a very slow attack from the side of the spot up and never done. They learned to not over rotate for the last game. So they're all just holding lines of scrimmage as it is. Three around B entry. In the garage. Zelsus almost makes it away without getting a shot. Doesn't get hit by the, the, the uh, dart there though. Nor the shock dart. That's a lot of utility used just to learn that the one person was in garage. Kimpeki rotating now towards the site. Full ADS with that ball dog. You want to be able to get that burst in. Go get that Jump's one burst over. kill. You're dead. Full on the angle, their entry onto the site left. with that run it back. Getting so much information as HIA. Breaking down that. Construction glass. The bomb has been planted. 5v5 retake for never done. Clock is now ticking. Trying to shoot away that all drone before gaining too much information, but all the information was gained just in time. Penny with a beautifully shot op there. And so fast, that entire site was cleared by Never Done. Wow. That was one of the fastest 5v5 explosive clears I've ever seen. It's just everybody looked at their angles and won their fights at the same time. It was nuts. Score line, kill line, still looking great for the side of the spot up, but the rounds are tied just because Neverdone keeps doing great strategic plays with working around that bomb. And I'm honestly really surprised that spot up lost the site that fast. And high five, nothing was happening for a while, but the Aldrin gave him all the information, told him where three members of the enemy team were. So he just played with that much information and just Capitalized, made it happen. So I'm going to be spot up on a save round. They're going to be going for an A take, it looks like. Kepeki just dodging some shots, but only able to get a little bit of damage in return. Effie falling back on sight. I get information where these players are at tree area. The smokes will certainly make things a little awkward. Now blasting off again is spot up. Trying to get onto A site. Becky trying to just finish off these players that are a little weak. Beautiful. Paranoia. One enemy remaining. By vanity, blinding so many members on the side of spot up. On the save round, I only get one kill again. So that's two save rounds where all they get it from the saves are one kill for spot up on this half. That's not the best, for sure. The flawless pistol round was even worse, but man, you need to be able to get a little bit more than one kill on save rounds if possible. 
So Let's go. for the lead for the first time is Never Done. This game is going a longer distance than Never Done has ever gone on a scent. A lot of action happening over at Garage. This player one gets the first kill, but answered right back is Rustin. So we're going to be pushing straight through here. But that smoke slows it down a lot. So we're actually seeing Zelsis lurking towards top mid. It's going to be catching thrill by surprise. Knife was even out. Now Figment knows they're in a rough spot. Completely pinched off. Finds. Zelsis, but not able to get the kill. While that was happening, we saw Rustin actually fall in garage. It seems that Vandy or Penny was able to get a kill, kind of missed it. Suck so and Pecky is trying to just clear out B site, try to get that bomb down, but in a two versus four situation, up against an off at long range like that as well. Tough to pull off. It's all coming down to Figment. Bandy hanging left. out in the boathouse. Revealing area. Easy kill. Bandy was really weak. Up over the hand. Dodges it. Figment started to run away a little bit there, but Zelsa shuts that right down. Gets the clean shots with the Phantom and is able to donate the operator right back into the hands of Penny. The game now 10 to 8 in favor of Never Done. They're just three rounds away of winning out the series and advancing on to the semifinals of this Knight's Gauntlet $5,000 monthly tournament. The momentum is certainly on their side. 5 to 1 on the half, despite going down 5 to 7 on the first. Penny and Zelsa starting to get a lot of frags. Player 1 starting to step up as well. Can Pecky takes down Penny? On a trade, they lose HIA in the process. He can tag by the recon balls. A little unfortunate for a Kenpeki, but just a minor slip up. They already knew the Kenpeki would be in the middle. Now as the gate closes for market. They're gonna have a really hard time trying to find their way onto B site. If he Taking a lot more defensive stance here. They have mid completely open, but luckily they have Zelsus covering the backside in case somebody rotates through mid. The door is closed. Effie is holding with an operator in market, grabs it from Penny's body. They have all the sites covered, everything we need. Nice shot by Effie. May not be the main operator for the team, but it's certainly sealed with it nevertheless. Has an Odin in hand now. 30 seconds left. Will certainly be a lot more useful at these close quarters angles on the site. Doesn't want them to know he has an operator. Just yet. Figment finding a kill. One enemy remaining. One remains. It's just Trill. Lockdown activated. The Odin spray is too strong for Trill. And what was mostly a save round for Spot Up, that was their best save round oh, thus no, no. far. By far. Three kills and the bomb plant. Very effective save round. And from the rest of this game now, they're going to be buying out every round. 100%. Can I get this? No more saves. Can I get this? Thanks. So if you have a good save round, at least it's your last one. Odin's still in the hand of Fe. Operator back in the hands of Penny. Placing swamp grenade. And it's gonna be player one doing a solo hole at B, completely wide open in mid. Time for a field. Complete Placing prediction of an A site take. I am the hunter. <laughs> the operator is clean for Kempeki, but challenges a little bit too early. Was not ready with the operator there. I'm not really sure what Kimbeki was doing. That was a little sloppy. Not what you want to do. Get spot out by the Owl Drone. Kimbeki's positioning is a little too loosey-goosey. In my opinion here. Using up some utility. Triple ball comes in clean. 
So much activity at A site. Nothing happening at B makes them believe that it's going to be an A take. Joke's over. You're dead. Going back activated, going through with a curveball, goes into the smoke. Gets cut off from the side angle. Zelsus finds Spine. Figment. Unlucky for the team, to be honest. That was a bomb drop, so. We want the duelists having to bomb, drop the bomb, but they knew Vandy was in tree still. That was a very sloppy. Kebeki and Rustin finding kills. Kebeki can't quite find the other. Rustin falls. It's all down to Trill versus Effie. Phantom versus Odin. And the Phantom succeeds. Effie was trying to peek close to right corner. Which was one of the last known locations. The Trill is sneaking around. Grabs the operator, throws it right back into Ken Pecky's hands. Safe and sound. And spot up with a much needed round victory. With the Odin spray through the wall, takes down. Yeah. Nowhere to run. Rotation underway. Uh. Rustin trying to make something happen, trying to pull a player one. Get some distraction happening at B site. Rotation is underway. Just barely staying in range of that turret. Can he find a kill onto Kepeki? Big man answering right back, getting two. That's going to open up the A site. One one remaining on the site is Vanity. Actually closing the tree door this time, which is what they definitely left. should have done last time. I'm honestly still surprised that he was clearing out or found out that somebody was in tree and just didn't close the door before trying to plant the bomb. All down to rust in the pigment here. Pushing under. Figment gives away as a position. Tough call of what to do here. Shot guard is good. Rustin finds two. And that's suddenly going to be a round victory for Spada, bringing it up to double digits on the round count. The dying breath throws the shock dart. And Rustin with a nice wide swing finds two headshots clean. Thanks. Gets those kills. The running gun is real. Nice toaster, by the way, Rustin. Quick peeks, Little gun buddy. Now it's gonna be a save round on the side of Never Done. Initiated. With that save run happening. Placing swarm grenade. We know that lockdown is not gonna be a shot through. Celsus is gonna try to hold it down here. Pushes through, gets one kill, can't quite find the second despite getting a headshot. Thinking it's very weak at this point. Was able to survive through. No information gained of where Rustin is over at Logs. One shot remaining on this operator. Decides to not shoot through the wall. Player one finding the kill. 20 HP remaining. Bulldog in hand. One burst potential. The operator is holding this angle, but looks away at the last second because of all the snow is dropping down. The operator misses. They're in their face. Finds the kill. Operator's last one alive. Blaze from activated. Can't get the right click underway. Vandy with the classic close quarters is enough. I need nothing to win. 
Kimpeki certainly point. was in a winnable situation there, but it just wasn't enough. Was too weak on the HP bar. Vandy, love the sticker. Good stuff. Big fan, big fan. All right, match point four, never done. This is game number three, best of three. Cover going on. Knights Gauntlet, $5,000 tournament. The monthly. Nowhere to run. It all comes down to this game. 12 to 10, can spot bring it up to overtime. Ah. HI with a big opening, Zealous is answering right back. Bomb's getting planted. Effie with the Hunter's Fury taking down Kimpeki, one of the big fraggers on the side of spot up. That's a huge pickup. Rustin finding Zelsus though. Flight. Spike planted. And Penny with the operator in hand. Banny finding the kill onto Trill. Figment in the usual location of A main. We got a lot of information from that ultimate from Vanity. Shock darts are available though. It's planted for the shock darts. They're sticking it! Effie's is sticking it! He's gonna get it! He's stuck it! Effie! The shock dart hit, but it wasn't enough. 